Mama Jamma tried calling me. When you go on Skype, people know you're on there? Chrissy wants to Skype. Hello? Hey, Coco. Where are my babies? Are they sleeping? Yes, of course. Ice is there, right? Yeah. OK, because I, I um, have something I want to tell you guys. Don't, Don't even say you're say pregnant. pregnant. No, 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 I'm not having a baby. Um, But I really want you and Ice to be Austin and the girls' godparents. That is so cool. We really want to get all three of the kids baptized at the same time. So we need to come out to Arizona and be a part of the baptism. Hmm. You're cool with it? I am totally cool. Ice is totally cool, too. Yes. I'm sorry, but I hear the kids getting up. I got to go. Say bye, honey. Bye, Chris. Bye. <sighs> That was nice of her. That was nice us. of you. You said yes before you even thought about it. You just like, yes. Who else is going to do it? Do what? Do you even know what the godparent is? No. Do you? No. Goodness. Yesterday, right, Coco's sister wants us to be the godparents. And before I knew it, Coco said yes. It's a big responsibility. I don't have any idea really what a real godfather or godmother is supposed to do. I think it's relative. It depends on how you want to set the tone for the god children. You know their values. You know their beliefs. I just have my own methods. When I was growing up, I went to church with my aunt, you know, because my aunt was a Sunday school teacher. But then I've kind of had my own religion and my own belief, which is just be righteous and walk a righteous path. I believe all religions basically break down to are you a good person or a bad person. But why would they want me to be the godfather? I think it's basically Coco and her sister are as tight as you can get. So I'm kind of like the godfather by default. You, you're saying what you're saying, but I, don't, I disagree. I think you're very wise, so yes. I think... Yes, you're hip-hop Yoda. That's you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hip hop Yoda. I'm gonna get a cape. I'll be the hip-hop Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> These are no. kind of bulky. How long has it been since you skated? 10. 10 years? No, a 10 years old. <laughs> Let's check your ankles. OK, you got good ankles. All right. I'm going to be on the sideline. You hear somebody laughing. I got to see this. <laughs> hey, yo, what up, Ice? What's good? Right now, I'm, uh, I'm at the skating rink. Coco's skating. Hell no, I ain't skating. I bust my ass, man. Ice don't go down on the ice, man. Even though little Ice lives in California and we live in New Jersey, I try to call Ice every day. Even if we just talk for five minutes, it's a little thing, but it makes me feel real good. Next week, we're going to go out to Arizona. We got to do something for Chrissy. I already talked to your sister, Tisha. We will celebrate your birthday, man. We will celebrate your birthday. Chrissy wants us to come to Arizona for the baptism. That's little Ice's birthday weekend. So I just thought, why don't I get him out there? I'll call up his sister, Tisha. She's in Atlanta, and we'll just have a big party. My dude, all right, love you out. <laughs> I'm a pro. You look good. I got finished talking to Ice. I asked him about coming to Arizona. Oh, yeah. What did he say? He's down. He said he's down. He was going to spend the weekend with his friend. Mm -hmm. So I just told him to bring her. And uh, we'll just all kick him. So Wait, he's good. bringing a friend? Yeah, she's a model. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. Little Ice had his heart broken recently. And now I hear he's bringing a model to Arizona. You know what it is, is Ice is like his pops. You know, he's going to always keep his eyes cut for a beautiful woman like I did. He's a big boy, and he's about to turn 20. This is life. I understand. Don't want to get his heart broken. One big happy family. Oh, And big mama Coco, big mama Coco. I know how to skate. Church. <laughs> This is your pretty full outfit. Let me see. Show Coco. Twirl around. So Twirl. Cool. Making them princesses this early? This is a real setup for their husbands, right? I'm trying to make them <laughs> difficult. That way no one will want to date them. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm so glad you guys were able to sneak away for the baptism. Are you guys ready? Okay, I know I'm gonna sound stupid right now. I'm glad to be a godmother, but what does that entail? I don't really know what it means. Ice doesn't really know what it means, so therefore we don't know what being godparents are. Kind of the reason for being godparent is to teach the child the spiritual ways. Give them guidance throughout life. Yes, exactly. So you picked a butt model and a gangbanger. Yes. Good idea. <laughs> so there's one more thing we want to ask you. Derek and I have given a lot of thought to this, and we want to ask you if, God forbid, anything were to happen to us, we want you guys to be responsible for the kids. What kids? All of them. All my kids. Oh, wow. Nothing's gonna happen to y'all. Both of them gotta happen to both y'all at the same time, right? Right. You guys can never ride in a car together. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's yeah, not gonna but... happen. Woo, boy. I know it's a big deal. We don't need an answer right now, so take some time and think about it. Um... Okay, all right. Well, you know what? Y'all got something to drink? I thought you didn't drink, guys. Three kids, I need to start drinking. <laughs>everyone is finally here first up is my daughter tisha she came in all the way from atlanta i had tisha when i was 18 years old that's my first kid and i love her to death she's very much like her dad she's like a female version of me look at you guys people may not realize it but i'm a grandfather tisha's son elijah is 16 years old and this dude is as big as me already hey coca and then the birthday boy little ice He's turning 20 years old, and it seems like just yesterday that kid was in diapers. I feel like such a midget. It's really good to see Lil Ice. I haven't seen him since the vow renewal. I just want to say one thing. Coco, I love you. I do. And I can't wait to meet this new girl of his to see what she's all about. I'm just glad that we're all here. This I is know, very fun. So I know. It's very, like, one anybody, in a blue moon. What is my friend Jasmine? What's up? Hi, Hi Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Meet you. She's pretty. This will be interesting. The good thing about us, our, our side of the family, is you only got to meet us for five minutes, and you either like us or you don't. I know. <laughs> That's why it is. It's a test. If Jasmine still likes ice at the end of this, we'll know it's real. <laughs> if she leaves tomorrow, like, she wakes up and goes, I got to go. My mother just called, and I have something I got to do, and I got to go. Come on, Eli, let's go check and make sure the pool water's together. Come on, T, you're going to see if this pool's ready. Yeah. Well, it's cool to finally meet you. Yeah, because, I, I mean, I've been hearing about you. She's very pretty. Thank you. She was telling me how pretty you are, so Thank you. No, it fits the I picture. I hear about you and your mom all the time, so I'm like, yeah, definitely. They Aww. definitely are really pretty. You know, I'm warming up to this girl, but I'm still going to keep an eye on her. What's the, what's the new fashion trend with Coco? Yeah, she's always <laughs> like, asking about it. Fashion like, trend. Go check out her blog, yes. look at your shoes, your, oh, your wow. trending topics all the time. Yes, Every my week. Yeah. You and Spartacus? Yes. So. Man, what's up with the football, man? What's good with you? I mean, everything's good. Just the season's over. Now, you running back, and then you playing defense, too? Yeah, I play running back, and I play strong safety. For both the speed positions. Mm -hmm. And the hit position. And the hit position. <laughs> yeah, he loves hitting. I love spending time with my daughter and grandson. I can't even believe it. Grandson. This kid grew up so fast. Elijah, he's getting big. Every time I see him, it's like, yeah. And he's doing good? He's doing great. He's playing football, getting good grades in school. Mm -hmm. Tisha was born right after I got out of high school. I was still hustling. She grew up in a very rough environment as far as what her dad was and what his, her dad was known on the streets. I wasn't known as a great rapper at that time. I was known as a problem. You know, we came out here for this baby christening, and break is a break. Yes, Daddy. And it ain't every day you and I get together, so I that's I know. Fun. This is going to be fun. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. I'm not what touching you. you. I'm not Are you touching you? Touch I'm not touching you. Don't get it too close, because you'll get in my karate zone. Honey, can you not fall asleep for a second? 
I concentrate better with my eyes closed. Now that the kids are at the movies, without the family being around right now, I need you to think about what Christy talked about the other day. Man, taking on three kids. I was just as shocked as you were. Like, you know, when I was growing up, everybody who had a kid named me their godfather. We go into public places and people go, oh, this is, Ice is the godfather of this child. Yeah, no, I just thought it was fly, you know, but now they're saying stuff like, we take care of the kids and all that. I mean, it's such a big thing. I mean, God forbid something happens to them. But they're young. Mm -hmm. Why would you even think about anything happening to them? Look, when I died, when my mother and father died, I ended up going to live with my aunt. I know firsthand that parents can die young. Both my parents were gone by the time I was 12. Taking on someone else's kids is a serious decision. You can't say no. It's like, that's heavy. Spending time with the boys is a special treat for me. I just want them to have a nice connection. It's so easy for kids not to like each other, to try to one-up each other. I would much rather see them ride together. Elijah, this yeah. is Ice's favorite store. It's like heaven. It's my favorite store, too. <laughs> they got shoes everywhere. I feel like Coco right now. It's always good to be close to me on your birthday and Christmas. Now you know why I cried. <laughs> you know me, I appreciate anything. That's right. It's crazy, though, when I told people I was coming here, I'd say, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see my son and my grandson. People <laughs> like, you got a grandkid. I'm like, looking at Elijah, I could have a, be a great granddaddy any minute. Don't, no, don't say that. <laughs> don't jinx me now. No, nah, I'm trying to figure out, can we surgically uh, tie your tubes now? Please hey, don't. Don't jinx me. Please you, don't. You put on that on him, the energy gonna come right around over here, so I'm gonna put it right back over there. See, Elijah, Ice is following in my footsteps. He dates models. Jasmine's a model, right? Yeah, she's a model. What's that like? I remember when Ice was little, he had a girlfriend. And he was like, uh, I want to buy her. She wanted some Britney Spears shoes, right? <laughs> he was in elementary school. This is real game right now. I'm listening. I'm listening. The girls are going to talk to the fly guys. They're going to talk to the guys that are naturally fly. Just remember that. If you fly, you don't need a Ferrari. You should be able to knock a chick off a 10-speed bike, man. That's all it takes, man. And you know I can. You know you can church. It's dude's birthday right here. Ooh, my baby brother's getting grown. Little ice. Yes. Little ice. Cheers. Oh, Cheers to no. little ice. Cheers. Thank you. No longer little ice. To my little bro. No, he's always little ice. Man. Dropping the little as of today. To medium ice? It's medium, medium ice. Yeah. Now, why well, I will do it like this. <laughs> you take over ice. And I'll take over big ice. So as of today, I drop little ice. I'm ice Your now. Your ice. And, this, and, and if everyone's ice, with us, ice. he's big ice. That's big ice. All right. All right, cool. We clear. We clear? Oh, see? Big ice. You done got, prom he got promoted. Big ice makes me think of fat. You're the only one going against the no, green. No, that doesn't mean fat. Ice. How about icy poo? Oh. You can do that. <laughs> I, I like it. it. Check this out. I'll make a Cornish hand. <laughs> <laughs> That is dope. That does look like a chicken. Being here for Lil Ice's birthday really lets me see how beautiful it is to have a family. Early in my life, I was too bent on just making it. Now, I've slowed down a lot and it gives me a chance to kind of get them all together. And I was really enjoying this evening. Yes. Oh! That's nice. Happy birthday. That was sweet. Yeah. Make a wish. There you go. Yay! That was nice, sir, because I was going to get you a dog biscuit. <laughs> I like this girl. She's nice. I dig it, too. She's very smooth. But if he's going to hang out with models, I got to give him some pointers. He gets so excited when he, any any chance he gets to. Yeah, there's a stick. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, 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 oh. What? I'm glad I got to see all you guys because we hardly ever get to kick it like this. I mean, it's hard to get just family in general to get because people are working. It's surprising also to see like my dad starting to get into you know the whole family thing. I like to say that you you brought out in him because he never really was like that. You know, he's probably getting older and he's realizing, and wh why not spend it with family? He's appreciating his time. 
Ever since the vow renewal, I feel like Lil Ice and I's relationship is closer. He comes to me for advice, and I feel a little bit more respected. I really like Jasmine. Yeah. So tell me about this girl. Jasmine's a beautiful girl. Me and Jasmine are literally like best friends. You know, she's she's great. The thing is, if you have a model for a yeah. girlfriend, people are gonna say things across the street. They're yeah. gonna whistle. They're gonna. <laughs> you're probably gonna get pissed off and want to fight. But I'll admit, I am just a, I get <laughs> jealous a little bit. Just be confident about yourself and let it ride. You can't think about that. Got it. It's some advice from Coco. <laughs> <laughs> from Big Mama Coco. From Big Mama Coco. <laughs> And what I'm thinking is, right, the ultimate pet would be a miniature elephant. Like, if you could get an elephant about that big, that would be the <laughs> dopest pet. If I could get an elephant to the size of that jug, I'd throw with money. <laughs> We're getting together with Christy and Derek to have a serious conversation. And Ice is just stalling. Elephants are lovable. They're just big. Miniature elephants. Come on. We. We've been really thinking about what you guys said to us about taking the kids and all that stuff. Well, I, I just want to let you know. No, 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 no. We can't front. It was a shock. Yeah. But we... But, you know, I just want you to know the reason that we chose you guys, the two of you are the perfect combination of what any child would want or need as a parent. Coco, you're a big softie. But then you're also strong, and kids need that. Ice... They listen to you. They trust you. You're the one that I go to to get through to them. Just what you've been through and what you've experienced in your life, you know, you can teach them your wisdom without them having to go through it. Listen, it's a, an and there's no way we can say no. <sighs> OK. OK. That's not going to happen. That's good, because nobody else can afford all our kids. <laughs> See, there you go. So, the ceremony. It's a really cute church. We're going to light candles. I'll hold Austin. You two hold the girls. There's three babies. The head yeah. and the dunk. We're, we're going to be up at the altar. Altar. Mm -hmm. Altars, holy water. Houston, we have a problem. It's as much participation as you guys want. I mean, we want you to feel comfortable. We don't want you to, like, be out of your element. Yeah, I'll be like the baptism roadie. I'll be on the sideline taking yeah. pictures, supporting, throw your hands in the air. It's completely up to you guys. Oh, I'll be right there. Witness. Witness. Okay. I got to witness this. I'm not a church person. I don't go to church every Sunday. I'll be there. I respect their beliefs, and they respect my beliefs and feelings, and that's what family is all about. You know, everybody doesn't have to do what everyone else does. Just respect each other. I got to tell you, I haven't been in a church in a long time, so don't blame me if the church burns down, the roof bursts into flames when I walk Lightning in. Lightning strikes. <laughs> Lightning strikes, Ground you know what I'm saying? Open. Yeah, and all of a sudden, just big gargoyles come up out the floor. <laughs> Are we the last ones? Yeah. Yeah, are you worried you're gonna burst into flames when you got here? I haven't made it inside yet. <laughs> this thing looks like a big barn. Yeah. Let's yeah. get this over with. Let's go. Right on. All right. Let's go. Let's Show go. us the way. Let's go do this. Daisy, child of God. Put your head back, Baptize baby. you in the name of the Father, okay. in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Oh, in the Holy Spirit. And amen. Amen. Good job. Look at them clapping. They're clapping because they like you. I didn't have to go up to the altar. Just seeing Coco up there was great. Well, now that the kids are baptized, I'm the godmama. And I'm the official godfather. I'm actually a godma. Oh, Lord. Godmama. You're the godmama? Godmama. Well, hard. Good job. Get your grow. Ladies first, ladies first. This is buffet style. You made the gravy too? Everything. She made everything. Everything from scratch. It's not that often that we get all of our family members together. You know, Coco's family, my family. And the great thing is they all get along with each other. So I just sit back and enjoy the moment 
and enjoy the peace. That was a nice, simple oh, ceremony. Mm -hmm. Coco got to put some water on the head. Yeah. Biggest Jesus I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, a 20-foot right? Jesus? Yeah. They got, it looked like he played for the Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to do a toast to no. the best godparents any little kids could ask for. Lord have mercy. Coco and I. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You're the best. Best, best. You're welcome. You're welcome. Toast family. to that. That's a real toast family right there. Family time. Family time. All right. We love family time. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh no. You want to reconsider this? Uh, this God. I mean, you say Godmother, and she doesn't try to drown the baby within five seconds. See, I was fine a minute ago. On the next episode of Ice Loves Coco. Coco, my movie made it into Sundance. It oh. got in. <laughs> this is beautiful, man. Yeah. This is crazy. I got offered the main character in a movie. You're shooting for two months in New Mexico. I'm not prepared to be gone from my husband for two months. If you're serious, you got to make some sacrifices. This is a life moment, and I don't want you to turn down anything. But I don't want to leave you.